So I wanted to talk about Public Freakouts Unleashed and how he's kind of misleading a lot of people. I, I don't think he means to, you know, he probably doesn't. But um, I really wish he'd put a disclaimer up because this is true. I used to think the same thing and police officer told me. So parents don't know that though. But uh, the school officer. Um, so yes a lot of the people in them in here are like why are you kicking me out huh don't i have a right to be here no every store doesn't matter what color you are or anything they have a right to kick you out technically walmart all these companies they're private property like they are private property they can kick you out if you looked weird and yeah that's kind of wrong but they can do it legally just because a store can be accessed by the public doesn't mean it's public property um so that should be noted technically it's illegal for you to film in there um if they wanted that video taken down they could get it taken down except once it gets shared on the internet it's kind of impossible um but yeah you know what i mean so if you get kicked out of the store for something it's their right now, there is some things that aren't okay, like, you know, certain things, but like, there's this one I've seen, and it was a newer video, and he's asking why, he's asking the manager for an apology because he thought he was stealing, but he had a backpack on. I mean, are you dumb? Yeah, I think you're stealing too. Why the heck do you have a full-size backpack on in the store? You're just asking to be accused. I mean, are you, are you out of your mind? And some of them I feel like are just filmed just to get a video or a reaction out of somebody. Because some of them seem so, like, real quick to get the camera out. You know what I mean? Makes me feel like they're just trying to do it on purpose. Some of them. Most of them aren't, but some. So this is what makes me so, so angry is that some people just don't understand that store policy exists and that that's their company. Like Walmart. Let's say if you're a, let's, let's make up a race, because I don't want it to sound racist, all right? Let's say there is a thing called red people, all right? Mysterious world, right? Red people. They go into Walmart. They get kicked out for being red. That's racist. But they can do it. They can do it. If you're not breaking the store policy, most likely you won't get kicked out. But if somebody has suspicion of you, especially one of the owners, they have every right to check you. Don't bring bags into stores. <laughs> or anything. You know? This is... Uh, don't bring in anything more than this in your pocket. And also, a quick note, if you have certain metals or certain things in your pocket, leave it in the car because sometimes it can falsely trigger the... Uh, the things, especially if it's magnetic. I had a PS Vita one time, which had a certain magnet in it, or not a PS Vita, something like that. And it had a magnets on the side, right? It made it go off, and I was playing it. Of course, they could tell that it was really used, so they knew I didn't steal it. Um, this was like 2016. So, I mean, they could tell it was really used, and I had a bunch of games already on it, you know. You could tell that a little kid had it. I was like nine or 10 at the time. So, the stuff like that, so they didn't say anything. But see, we cooperated because it's their right. You know what I mean? It's their right. Alright guys, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that because it seems like a lot of people just don't know. And if you really think I'm wrong, go to walmart.com slash policy. I think that's the st I think that's still there. I don't know, they might have changed it, but back in a long time ago, it was walmart.com slash policy. It might still be. It is not. Um, okay. So if you go to walmart.com, oh boy, they really. So if you go to corporate dot, okay, it's corporate dot walmart.com slash policies, you will actually get the full documentation. Read it. Um, so yeah. Peace.